If you have a son, he cannot join the choir. Because I don't know what's going on with the choir. But there is an effeminizing energy. I don't know if it's the drums, but I see masculine black boys walk into gospel choir and come out with that walk. You know, it's a little jiggle to it. And you know what pissed me off? Is when a black man think he's so privileged that he will bring his snow bunny into an all black space. When people are meeting about their community, they don't allow outsiders. Only people who got duped into that is us through colorblind religion. Where you at, Kamala, with your white husband? And I know we got some snow bunny Negroes in here. I know we got some bunny hoppers in here tonight. This is the Dust Bowl. I know you love that Caucasian cookie. I know we got some bunny hoppers in here tonight. I know we got some bunny hoppers in here tonight. You know what? The rainbow gangers ain't even my problem no more. It's the bunny hopping black men all in my feet, cursing me out, leave me alone. I had a brother say, listen, Dr. Umar, I know I got a white woman, but check this out, brother. I was asleep when I met her. I met her in college. I ain't know nothing about no Malcolm X, no John Henry Clark, no Honorable Marcus Garvey, brother. I was asleep, and I admit that this is not the best situation for me, brother. But what am I supposed to do? I said, do you have any children? He said, yeah. I said, how old is the youngest? He said, 16. I said, that's good news. <laughs> because the minute his ass graduates and goes off to college, you leaving that bunny for a sister if you really care about this woman. And you know what bothers me when you see black men with a white woman and another black woman just happens to be walking by? Sisters know what I'm talking about. Yeah. He will go out of his way not to acknowledge a black woman when he's with the snow bunny. Lord have mercy. And then what makes it even worse than that, y'all don't even get the cute white girls. Hey! You got you an old 600 pound, three neck, turkey and cold cheese snow bunny. You went out and got you a little shriveled up 98 pounds straight off the opioid row, Snow Bunny. One brother pulled up with a bunny, she had like three teeth in her mouth. No cooking ass Snow Bunnies. No seasoning, no jerk sauce. I'm like, if you're going to get one, at least get something where the brother can say, ah, oh, you shouldn't have done it, but she built like one of ours or something. Y'all get old nasty old bunny. Jesus Christ. And shame on you black mothers, because I'm coming across a lot of black women who are telling me, Dr. Umar, I cannot tell my son that he can only date black women. Because I'm a Christian. This is what they telling me. Black mothers, 30s and 40s and 50 years old, Dr. Umar, I love you, I support you, but I cannot tell my son that he can only date black women because the God I serve don't see no color. Here we go with that colorblind religious bullish. I'm not against Christianity. I'm not against Islam, but I'm against any institution that manipulates you into thinking your color don't matter because it's the only thing that has ever mattered. And until you put black consciousness back into the Christian church, the Christian church is a waste of time. Oh yes. Oh yes. And that's coming from a descendant of Christian pastors I am. Because the black church takes three things from us we can't afford to waste. And they take it from us every Sunday. The first thing, they take too much time for black folks. You gotta go to church, morning service, 
afternoon service, New Year's service, Christmas service, Thanksgiving service, the Snow Bunny service. Then you gotta come to Bible study, the women's meet, the men's meet, the deacons meet, and then gospel choir. You got 10 different events you are obligated to, and I'm not against those events if the church was doing something for the black community. But you ain't got time for the damn gospel choir when we got children out here blowing each other's brains out because they ain't got no job. Gospel choir can wait. Gospel choir can wait. You tell Deacon Porkchop and Pastor Watermelon and Deaconess Cherry Kool-Aid that you're going to go fight in the community because doing God's work is in the streets, not inside of a building. The work gets done outside the building. The church takes too much time. And with all respect to the church, if you have a son, he cannot join the choir. Because I don't know what's going on with the choir. But there is an effeminizing energy. I don't know if it's the drums. I don't know if it's the long skirt they wear. I don't know if it's the remix. But I see masculine black boys walk into gospel choir and come out with that walk. You know, it's a little jiggle to it. You know what I'm talking about, sister. That's why you cracking up. I don't know what the choir is doing with black boys. I'm not accusing them of nothing. All I'm saying, somehow, some way, it reduces the masculinity of our boys when they join the choir. So the church takes too much time. And then the church takes too much of your energy. Damn, y'all being here sweating, soaking wet. Preach, pastor, preach. Catching the Holy Ghost. Here's what I want to know. If we so spiritual, like we claim. I'm so spiritual. I'm so in love with the Lord. I'm so spiritual. Why in the hell Kansas City, Missouri got a dropout crisis? You so spiritual, so in love with God's work. Why y'all got a record number of black mothers with children living homeless on the street? If you so in love with God, shouldn't I be able to see your faith through your deeds? And shame on you black parents out here shopping for stuff your child don't need. Christmas shopping. Do y'all have a black bank in Kansas City, Missouri? Do we have a black supermarket in Kansas City, Missouri? Do we have a black independent school in Kansas City? Not no charter school, I said independent school. So how you got time to be out here wasting millions of dollars on Christmas gifts for lazy ass black children? Many of whom, oh I know they lazy because I'm a school psychologist that does the special ed testing. I know they lazy. Oh I know they lazy. Some damn Air Jordans. $250,000 for a bunny hopping ass black man. You done lost your damn mind. Did you see Michael Jordan's prenup with the white Cuban he married? If they ever get a divorce, he has to pay her a million dollars for every year they were together. Do you think that's about love? No. Ain't about no damn love. These white women ain't marrying black men because they love you. They wifing you for your damn money, wealth, and your melanin, you fools. Look at Kobe Bryant. Rest in peace, my Philadelphia brother. He dies, leaves almost a billion dollars to a white Latino. You think Vanessa Bryant is gonna come to Philadelphia and build a school for black boys? Hell no, she just did a partnership in Kobe's name with three universities and not one of them was a HBCU with a black man's money. 
Y'all think the white women who sleep with black men are different from the white women who don't sleep with black men. You're absolutely wrong. All white people are to everyone. There's no, ex no exceptions. The children, the dog, the cat, the roaches. And you know what pissed me off? Is when a black man think he's so privileged that he will bring his snow bunny into an all black space. We having a black meeting of our black proms and this coon gonna come and bring bring this thing into a meeting. You notice? Anybody can come to black meetings. You can't go to nobody. I want you to try walking into a Chinese church on Sunday. I want you to walk into a Jewish community center when they're having a meeting about Jewish issues. I want you to show up in an Arabic community center when they're talking about Arab problems. Even if you is Muslim, they're going to show your ass the door. When people are meeting about their community, they don't allow outsiders. Only people who got duped into that is us through colorblind religion. The hell is colorblind religion? And the third thing the black church takes from black people that we can't afford to give away is our damn money. Today, Sunday, half you Negroes just came from a church. Did anything change from the time you left or went in it? You've been going to church your whole life. What has the church you've been attending ever done of significance for black people? Now let me clarify, because one of you Negroes going to say we gave out some turkeys. We dedicated a playground like we ain't got enough of those. Listen, black America has five major problems. You got them right here in Kansas City, Missouri. Miseducation, mass incarceration, gentrification, police brutality and genocide, and economic apartheid. That's the five right there. What is your church doing to deal with any one of the five problems I just named? Not a damn thing. Go pray about it. <laughs> and then pay about it. But at the end of the day, it's our fault. Because we are $2 trillion people, Kansas City. We spend $30 billion on hair a year. Come on. Black women, come on, sisters. $30 billion on weave, perm, and beauty products, skin bleaching them. And brothers, we can't, we ain't got no room to criticize. Black men ain't got no room to criticize. And I'm going to tell you why. Why you think black women wear weaves? Why you think black women permanent hair? Why you think black women are addicted to blonde, gold, and dusty brown hair? Because they've watched us. And they've seen that their black men prefers a black Brute beauty that can closely approximate white standards of beauty. So the black man is as responsible as the black woman for her hair care decisions. And if we really wanted our women natural black men, let's stop being a hypocrite. Go home tonight and tell your woman, if you don't cut that shit off your head, I'm divorcing. If we really going to be revolutionary tonight, are we talking or do we really mean it? Because every woman in here will be natural tomorrow if her man gives her a decision she can't afford. Where the school at? And I'm sitting at the school. That's why some, we do need special ed for some of you. We do need special ed for some of you. He said, where the school? And I'm sitting at the school. We do need special ed for some of you. Some of you do need special education. We do need a, 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 a coon 
a coonish special ed program. We need special ed for coons. We, we have to do that. We have to do that. 